and then uh, Benningson. I'm going to send him over to the same place as well, which is also here. That's Benningson. And this one here, he's in Hungary, would you believe? All the way over here, you see on the bottom left-hand map, you can see that he's right in the middle of um, the Austrian Empire there, because obviously we have military access. I'm going to be wanting to take um, this Ottoman region here, uh, which is going to be given to me as a mission target, Moldova and Bessarabia. Um, so I'm going to move those troops, the Hungarian troops, over into here, so that we're in a position to be able to attack when the time comes. Now in Riga I have some troops, now they're quite close to the um, the, uh, the the route that we've got into uh, into Finland, so I'll bring those over as well, the Riga troops. And I have these here. Uh, right, now these are nearer to the Ottomans, so I'm going to be using those in my fight eventually against the Ottomans. Here I have some um, poor quality troops. I'm going to use these to, okay, slightly defend my border, but also I'm going to um, send one down to here because I really need to make sure that, um, that that port that I'm building is safe. So having emptied troops from one of these areas here, I believe it might be this one, let's have a closer look. Yes it is that one. What I'm going to do is put some troops back into there. Well just put one in there for now, so at least it's got something in there. Now Odessa, that's this place over here, they're the ones that I said that we're going to be using for the um, uh, for the attack on uh, on the um, on the Turks. So there must be another one somewhere. Ah, there's these as well. Uh, Podolsky. Now Podolsky, I'm going to leave those there as well. They're the ones that are going to defend my border. I think I might have mentioned that before. Over in Moscow, I have troops, and the Moscow troops, although you know I've got some militia in here which are not particularly useful, um, I might need them to bulk out my army against the Swedes over here. So I shall put those over there as well. Um, I have no fleets, as you can see. Um, the regions that I have are all marked here, so you can see exactly what I've got and where I'm getting it from. Don't get a lot of money, I'm afraid. And the two agents that I have, I've already moved. Right. So the turns go in two weekly periods, so we're in early January. The next turn will be late January. Still got um, 4,800 in the pot there. So, and that's after buying um, the the port that I want to be building. So, what I now need to do is make sure that I have um, various um, buildings um, constructed. So, I will be putting um, farms in particular in uh, in Russia. You do tend to run out of money in Russia if you're not careful. So, farm buildings are the most important thing to be building at this stage. That one's called clearances. You can see on there, 200 to the regional wealth, uh, plus three replenishment rate in this region as well for troops. But you do need to have farms and clearances in order to pay, like I said, for your population. So I look through here, farms and stables tend to look very similar. So there's a farm, so we definitely need that one. We at least need farms, there is no doubt about it. OK, there's another farm, or rather another clearance. So I'll we'll have that one as well. Brings us down to 2,700. We've still got money in the pot. There's another one, another clearance that we can get as well. And that one there's a farm. So we're down to 1500. We've still got money to spend, which is great news. Okay, I'm going to build some stables as well now. Now we've got the farms in place. You'll notice that the um, stables enable me to recruit horse. Um, but also, you know, logging camp's quite good as well, actually. But, um, yeah. Where was that? There we go, another stable. Just show you what the stable does. Minus three recruitment cost, but also it gives you 50 to the regional wealth as well. So I want to be able to recruit cavalry, particularly in those forward areas. Um, and also, of course, um, I need the replenishment rate. Um, that will help my troops replenish a bit quicker, though I can't really see much of a value of replenishing troops in your own regions, to be quite frank. But I'll take the extra money that I get from them anyway. OK, 
Okay, and here's the last stable that I'm going to go for. Well, it's actually a stud farm, so we're going to take that as well. Um, 100 to the regional wealth there, and minus 6 recruitment costs for, um, for cavalry there as well. So, um, main thing is, we're getting 100 to the regional wealth. Right, well, that's the um, end of the turn then for early January 1805. The turns do tend to be quite quick in this game, mercifully. Well, that's just an information screen saying that there's been a confederation of the Rhine agreed, uh, which is good news. Nothing has happened to me in this turn, uh, which is good news as well. Um, all I need to do is keep my troops moving in the exact same way as they have been doing so far. And what I'll do now is... Oh, just let me just check. Did I go for... Yes, I did go for that. That's good news. Right, OK. Um, yeah, uh, what I need to do is just... Um, uh, continue to build the uh, the economy so I'm going for logging camps and I'm going for stables so anything that looks like a logging camp or a stable gonna give me some extra money that's what I'm gonna go for there you go there's a logging camp logging camp gives me um, uh, recruitment costs for naval units uh, which usually is a waste of time for me but anyway um, 75 um, to the regional wealth that's a plus 75 to the regional wealth overall and then constructing buildings a minus 10 so that's something that I want because it reduces the cost of the buildings in the future. So I just have a quick whack through. Here's another logging camp which we're going to go for. Keep going all the way through the others. Ah, no point in going through any more. We're up to 290 and uh, there's nothing that I can get for less than 290 unless of course I want to start um, recruiting some troops. Now the troops that um, I might want are troops up here. I'm not sure what sort of troops we've got because I've never actually recruited... Ah, can't get any in there anyway at the moment. Anyway, Ah, only 290 left so not enough to be buying any troops anyway. So, not that I normally buy troops. I, we've got quite a lot of troops anyway in the, uh, in the Russian forces. So, that should be the end of turn now for the late January 1805 and everything should make it its way as normal. You'll notice, by the way, that I've uh, left the sound off this game um, because it does interfere. I, I can't seem to organise it so that um, there isn't an interference on it. Um, so you can hear the voice much more clearer. Um, and also, I, I, I talk over the background noises anyway, so there seems little point, really, in having the background noises there at all. Uh, Britain have got a small fleet out there. They've got a large fleet as well, there it is, um, all defending the English Channel, which has to be good news for me, because um, I will be trading. There is a, a trade route, by the way, of mine um, in the north, of, of Russia over at um, Ingria, presumably St. Petersburg, so I hope they'll defend that for me. Here we go, settling old scores in Finland. Well, as you know, we're heading in that direction anyway, aren't we? So let's just have a quick look and see where we are before we end this second video. Reward to the Treasury of 2000 as well, by the way. Always pricks me up a little bit, that. Let's get this undeveloped farm as well, by the way, while we're here. Just quickly do that. Um, because they're always handy to have. Construction report, they're the farms that I've already asked for, which is good. Well, there's only one more thing that needs to be done in this turn, and that's to get a magistrate, if I can afford one anywhere. Um, the magistrates, like I explained before, do give a pretty good increase in income. Uh, is it I can afford one? No, can't quite afford one. There. Oh, that's not a magistrate anyway, is it? It's Ingria is the area I want most of all because that one has a good income. Ah, no, no, it's 1,500 for a magistrate, so I'll not be affording one of those at the moment. The tax office doesn't give me very much, just a plus five bonus to the region's tax income. So I'm going to wait till next turn before I can buy one of those. Other than that, then that is the end of that particular turn of the um, early February 1805.